Hi, I'm Avery Fury, the SAS VEX captain at the time this video is being recorded, and this is the VEX CADDING introductory course. In this video, we're going to talk about how to download Fusion 360. So first you would open up Chrome, go to a new tab, and we're going to type in Fusion, uh, sorry, Autodesk, Autodesk Educational License. Uh, you should follow along in most of these videos as I do things uh, on your own. So you go here, click on this link, and you'll be brought to this website. Um, at this point, you would click the Get Started button, uh, and fortunately, I can't take you through the entire process because I already have my own account but this video would give you a tutorial for this process and some things I'll say is that, well, okay, well we can go through it like in voiceover this video. So you should put in your school email address for your email. Okay, um, say we're in Singapore, you are a student, for institution type, put high school or secondary school. And then put your actual date of birth in there. Yeah. Create an account, put in your name, your email, confirm your email. Uh, for your password, it doesn't have to be your school password. Just use what works for you, agree with terms and conditions, etc. For your account. Uh, so an email will be sent to you. Then you have to verify your email. Uh, you open a new link on that verification email. Then you click done to verify your account. Then you'll try signing in. Uh, and when you do this step, you have to go back to this original website that we are currently on, the Educational License uh, Autodesk website. Yeah, great, so when you sign in, uh, then I'll prompt you some other things. So for a name of educational institution, you're gonna put in Singapore American School. Uh, when you type that in, Sometimes two Singapore American schools appear and you just click on the first one. Um, area of study, you can put engineering. Uh, enrolled from, you should do like June, what year are we in? 2022 uh, to the year you graduate from SAS and put June for that for the month for when you graduate, yeah? Okay. It will bring you to this website. Uh, oh, something I forgot to say earlier is that when you put in your first and last name, don't put in like a nickname for your first name. Put in what name would be in power school, for example, yeah? Uh, this is important because on our next step, you have to submit some kind of document that verifies you actually attend SAS and that you're a student and you're not faking this, right? And those names usually line up with whatever's in power school and it wouldn't line up with what your nickname would be, right? So some different documents you can submit at this point would include uh, your just a picture of your SAS card that usually works. You can also submit your most recent uh, report card, that also tends to work. And finally, you could get the invoice for this year's school term. Uh, if you want that, you probably have to ask your parents for it and they can get that from Veracross. Okay, and then you submit that. Uh, it This video will probably say, yeah, you'll get the verification email in 48 hours. Usually it takes like 20 minutes, and if you don't get it that fast, uh, then you probably should expect some kind of rejection email. Um, in the event that you get a rejection email, try, you can, you can do multiple tries for different documents submit. Just try submitting a different document. Uh, if it doesn't work on the second try, then contact me and I'll try to figure out some kind of solution to this. Uh, might happen. But usually what will happen is you get this email, it says educational access is granted. You click on the get products button. 
Okay, and then you get back to this website, uh, and well, you would already be signed in, so let me sign in real quick. Right, and then you could this, okay? And then you can click Get Product, and you want to click Get Product for Fusion 360, right? Uh, so we'll download Fusion 360, you know how to do that usual process, and when you start Fusion 360 for the first time, it will have some loading menu where it goes from zero to 100% as it sets up in your computer, okay? And at that point, it's going, again, I can't really show this, uh, either it will look like this and you're all good to go and you can move on to the next video, or it will say something like join team. Uh, in that event, do not actually click that button. Tell me, uh, I can re-invite you to the Fusion 360 space uh, and you just need to quit Fusion 360 and then reopen it. And then it should look like this. Okay, and then once you're here, you make sure to join the VEX project. Uh, I haven't joined the main one, so it will just have a plus beside it and you click join product for the VEX one though, yeah? Okay, and then your setup should look something like this.